we're going to be faced with sort of a double whammy of uh, air, pollution, air pollution being high in California to start with, and then climate change is going to make it worse. With climate change, two of the air pollutants are going to go up, ozone and particulate matter, and particulate matter is soot. The ozone is going to go up because of the direct effects of the increased temperatures that we're going to have in California, especially during the summer months. The more sun, the more hot days, the more ozone. So ozone's going to go up with all of the climate change models. Particulate matter is going to increase because of increased energy consumption during really hot days as we need to air condition our homes and schools and buildings. At UCSF, I do what are called controlled human exposure studies, where we actually have a chamber, the human exposure chamber, where we expose people to pollutants under controlled conditions. In the real world, there's always mixture of pollutants, ozone, particulate matter, oxides of nitrogen. So it's hard to pinpoint in the real world how much of an effect is due to one versus the other. We can expose people only to ozone and compare that to exposure to clean air. And so we've done a number of studies with adults with asthma, exposing them to ozone, exposing them to different types of particulate matter, exposing them to oxides of nitrogen, and sometimes exposing them to the combination of ozone and an allergen. Like I said, with climate change, we're gonna have increases of both ozone and allergen, and it turns out that ozone in advance of exposure to allergen makes the asthmatic airway more sensitive to the allergen. We've studied that in the laboratory and shown that ozone enhances the effects of allergen in causing asthma exacerbations. I hope that the message that there are public health impacts of climate change will help galvanize public support around efforts to control greenhouse gas emissions and control climate change.